Nothing is funny except when people get involved in it. They are the people who make it funny. You can't make fun of Beethoven's Fifth. You can make fun of certain parts of it within music with musicians. But you must understand. They must know what what you are doing. This is a a. Uh, mathematic uh, uh, development you can do of things and say if I do such and such with the music it will come out so. but the average person the general audience would never understand what it was they would say what, what is that supposed to be funny but fun is is not necessarily something that uh, you, you, you slip in a banana peel that uh, not necessarily fun either because you can <laughs> hurt yourself terribly yeah. but uh, the, the degrees of everything we are talking about or everything that happens in the world, it depends on, on the need for it and the desire and the ability to, uh, to uh, reflect it. When you're on stage and the audience isn't laughing at the right moments, do you try something new ever? Well, I always try something new. It's not trying. It is a... My performance depends on... I have said also in the interview that what disturbed me were any noise and any uh, uh, distraction from the room uh, silence or whatever you are surrounded with. That becomes now, when I'm not depending on my fingers, the thing, part of the entertainment because I pick it up, I use it. Because every situation is the now, and that becomes the show. So I go on the stage, and I have, like the good cook he has in his kitchen, certain ingredients, and he knows how to put them together, he knows how to present them, and so do I. I have ingredients that I can present, and I know exactly the reaction to it and when I need this maybe a little more salt or that or on that or maybe a little more sugar on this and then maybe a little more uh, vegetables in the, the soup may be a little too hot or maybe a little too cold there's no exact proportion or measurement no. this is experience it is at lip and everything I do on the stage except the phonetic punctuation which we had been talking about in other occasions um, Nothing has ever been prepared. It is all growing out of uh, ad libs, and, uh, reality, and, and, and situations, and uh, uh, what's the word? What true, uh, true occurrences. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you're a satirist too. I think you once said well, that. Well, I about guess yourself. humor is satire mm. in itself. Mm. How about the, when you fall off your bench, do you still do that? I don't fall off it. I, you see, what is not particularly known by the general public is that pianists generally sit on a, a leather, a, a little bench, you know, an elevator bench. Yes, a like piano bench. A right. piano bench, which is leather, top and, and then you can elevate it a little, a little mechanism there. I use a wooden bench but I don't know if you get it and that's polished they're all black and polished because I have things I have the book in it I have music in it I have all kind of little things that I might need you know and I want a handkerchief and I have and that opens and closes, whereas the regular bench doesn't. But sitting on that polished wood doesn't mean that you are just bound to sit here. You slide back and forth if you are not careful. And this started many years ago when I saw a pianist, he was playing the Tchaikovsky Concerto. And he didn't have one of those elevator benches, and he had a wooden bench, and apparently he was not used to sit on it because in the, in the uh, beginning, the first few bars of the piano, 
entrance where he plays the boom, boom, boom. He slid right off the piano. <laughs> boom, 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 and landed <laughs> on the floor. And I was there, and I saw it. I was about nine years, eight or nine years old. Did you laugh? Oh, gosh, people, these people jump up. They were terrible. And and, and uh, he brushed off. I don't know what happened. It, it was just, it was, I, I was the only one who laughed because I thought it was so funny. Everybody <laughs> was, he thought the man had killed himself or something like that. <laughs> mm -hmm. But apparently he didn't kill himself. So he went, he continued and he had played. And the way he played, he could have killed himself or should have. Been <laughs> but that, that's another story. So everything I do was always is always inspired by some actual happening. And that is what makes it funny if you recognize it.